geology in a jiffy. What's in the bag? It's... Isotopes. What is an isotope? An isotope is an atom that has the same number of protons in its nucleus, but has different numbers of neutrons in the nucleus. How do we use isotopes? Geologists use isotopes to work out how old certain objects are, such as mammoths from a few tens of thousands of years ago, or mummies from ancient Egypt. Please do watch our video about elemental notification to know more about atomic structure. From that video we know that elements have symbols of letters and a small and big number. These small and big numbers can sometimes be written this way, at the top and bottom, and can be swapped to be bottom and top. They still mean the same thing, wherever they are written. Let's use this way to show them. The smaller number is the atomic number. The atomic number is also known as the proton number and is simply the number of positively charged protons in the nucleus of the atom. And, knowing that atoms are neutral, i.e. they have no overall charge, we know that the number of positively charged protons equals the number of negatively charged electrons, which we know from looking at the atomic number. The larger number is the mass number. If we know the mass number, then subtract the atomic number, we then know the number of neutrons in the nucleus of the atom. Let's look at an example. Carbon, one of the most crucial elements, one that is found in all living creatures on our planet, one that is found in our fuels. Carbon has two main isotopes, carbon-12 and carbon-14, but how do they differ? Let's start by looking at carbon-12. We know the atomic number is 6, which means it has 6 protons in its nucleus, and because of this fact, it also has 6 electrons orbiting its nucleus. We know the mass number is 12, so, using this mass number 12, we then subtract the atomic number 6 to calculate that a carbon-12 has six neutrons in its nucleus. Carbon-14 is a different version of carbon. The atomic number of carbon-14 is also six, which means it also has six protons in its nucleus, and, therefore, it also has six electrons orbiting its nucleus too. The mass number of carbon-14 is 14, so, using this mass number 14, we then subtract the atomic number six to calculate that carbon-14 has eight neutrons in its nucleus. So, carbon-14 has 8 neutrons in its nucleus, and carbon-12 has 6 neutrons in its nucleus. So if we think of these isotopes as a subtraction sum, 8 neutrons subtract 6 neutrons, informs us that the difference between the two isotopes is that carbon-14 has 2 more neutrons in its nucleus. That's amazing! In summary, carbon has two main isotopes, carbon-12 and carbon-14. Carbon-12 has six protons in its nucleus and six electrons, arranged 2, 4, and has six neutrons in its nucleus. Carbon-14 also has six protons in its nucleus and also six electrons, arranged 2, 4, orbiting around the nucleus. But carbon-14 has eight neutrons in its nucleus, two more than carbon-12, making it slightly heavier than carbon-12. Time for the quiz! How many neutrons are in oxygen-16? There are eight neutrons in oxygen-16. How many neutrons are in oxygen-18? There are ten neutrons in oxygen-18. Well done! Please subscribe to my channel. Bye!